I came across a quote by Ellen DeGeneres. You cannot make everyone happy. You are not a Nutella jar. So much profoundness in a seemingly frivolous sentence. The need to be liked is a universal phenomenon. We are constantly beset by thoughts like, do they like me? Do they like what I say? What I do? Think? Do they like how I look? Hands up if you've ever thought this way. Why? How many of us post something on FB or Instagram and check to see the number of likes? I confess, I've done that. It's human to be want to be liked. However, this need can keep us from unlocking our full potential. And that is the focus of this episode. How to let go of the need to people please. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on. Apparently, being liked is actually a fundamental human need, according to Roger Corbin, a clinical psychologist. In his book, The Need to be Liked, Corbin explains that our need for social acceptance is a throwback to those times when we lived in caves and had to find food and defend ourselves every single day. And that's where the concept of tribes arose. To survive, it was easier to move in groups and to be part of that group you had either have to have a useful skill or be liked by other members of the tribe. Now, our brains haven't caught up to the fact that we are not defending ourselves from wild animals anymore. As humans who face life or death situations on a daily basis, negative thinking is kind of hardwired into our DNA. And so, as a result, not only do we fear being disliked, we are also constantly on the lookout to confirm how people feel about us one way or the other. The problem is, our need to be liked can keep us in a continuous self-talk loop of what will they think, what if I fail, what if I am laughed at, will they like me and it keeps us from doing things that matter to us or trying new things. Of course, we have to get along with our partners, our in-laws, our co-workers and even the Uber driver. But here's the thing. Resisting your people-pleasing reflex isn't about being rude or writing off responsibilities. It's about going after things your way, instead of always falling into other people's plans. The hard truth, not everyone is going to like you, but actually that has got nothing to do with you. Roger Corbin says that the whole do they like me game is similar to a Rorschach test. You know what that is, right? You show someone an abstract ink blot and ask them, what they see to figure out how they think. Everyone can see something different in the splotches of ink and that's similar to how people view you. In reality, most of the feelings or opinions that other people have about us are formed by things that have nothing to do with us. Think of yourself as an ink blot in the Rorschach test. What a person sees says more about them than it does about the ink blot and the same thing is true interpersonally which is why Someone you think of as self-assured seems arrogant to another or you think someone is sweet but they appear timid or meek to your friend. In other words, you have no control on whether someone likes you or not. A lot of things can influence how a person sees you, even something as simple as how their day is going. If one person is hungry, Corbin says, it can even shift how they see you. If the whole likability thing is out of your control, why shift all of your behaviours to please others when just skipping breakfast could change their mind? Remind yourself that it's normal not to be liked by everyone. Even Mahatma Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, they were not liked by everyone. Everything and everyone in life has its share of detractors. Irrespective of whether they are world leaders, musicians, blockbuster movies or best-selling books. So give up this urge for universal approval. Don't be abnormal. Tell yourself, I'm a worthy person whether or not I have the approval of others. Repeat it until it starts to feel true. The other reason we people please is because we have never been taught to set boundaries and say no. We were taught that it's important to put others before you or else you are labelled as selfish or self-centred. As you go through your day, 
feeling the weight of your own boundaryless life, you start developing a martyr mentality. Somehow, suddenly the poor me mindset becomes a much stronger drug that keeps you steeped in martyrdom. Make no mistake, we teach others how to treat us. So when you drop your facade and your fear of what other people might think of you, you will give and receive from a space of genuine love. People pleasing has its roots in fear, fear of losing other people's love. You don't need to earn that love. You are lovable because you are. And on that note, here's a not so easy tool from my toolbox. I love this one. This is called the Nike power. You've all heard of Nike's famous, just do it, right? This is an extension. Just do it for you. So here's how it works. Whenever you have to do something, big or small, ask, what do I really want to do? It can be as simple as going to a restaurant, walking the dog, staying back in office, going to a movie. Ask, what do I want to do? And then do just that. Don't fall into the plan to eat Chinese just because everyone else in your family wants to. Say assertively that you are in mood for Indian curry tonight and do that. Of course, it's neither easy nor will our approval seeking ways just disappear overnight. Remember, this thing is hardwired in us. So it takes time and practice to change. Start small by pursuing one thing a day just for you, not for approval, not for retweets, not for likes of someone else. This is a journey, a journey to start building your worth from inside. If someone gives you a hard time and says you've changed, it's not a bad thing. It just means you've stopped living your life their way. Shrug and move on. And you have given permission to others like you to be who they truly are. Powerful, authentic and genuinely loving. I love hearing from you. Send me your thoughts, your opinions, your doubts. And yes, I need you to like this video. Not because I'm seeking approval, but because your likes and shares can help pass this on. Spread the light, folks. And if you need help to ditch your people-pleasing ways, connect with me. The link is in the description below.